So we've now got Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 6. This episode was titled Bury Me Next to Jasper's Leg and if you have not seen this episode and you don't want to get anything spoiled for you, don't watch this review. So I would say it's pretty safe to say this is probably the most intense episode of Fear the Walking Dead this season. I was on the edge of my seat most of it, pretty much towards the back half having no idea what was going to happen throughout this episode but at the start of the episode before the title sequence comes on we see Jenny and some of her troopers coming up on a horseback chasing this woman the woman shoots herself in the face and then they go okay we're gonna bury her next to Jasper's leg that's where the name of the episode comes out from I thought where the name of the episode came out came from was a bit out of nowhere there was no context to it it's just just something she said at the start of the episode I just thought it was a bit of a weird name for the episode but the episode the main storyline for the episode it follows June, which kind of made sense. I was wondering why it took so long to see June. Of course, we did see her at the end of episode four, but we haven't really seen her. And I wasn't sure if this takes place before episode four or after episode four. We know now that it takes place after episode four. But June has been driving around in a semi-truck using the back of the truck as kind of a hospital on wheels with Sarah driving the truck. I forgot about Sarah until this episode. I forgot about her brother as well until they mentioned her brother. So... The episode is Sarah is kind of like just helping June. June and Sarah running around, driving around, saving anyone they can. We see her actually perform surgery on a guy at the start of the episode. The guy then dies. But as the guy is dying, June's trying to give him CPR. And then, of course, he comes back as a walker. And it was quite an intense scene. The whole scene with them doing the, the surgery in the back of the truck, all of that was really intense. It was like the atmosphere, everything. It was like a dark, dirty back of a truck and she's doing surgery. And it. it just it worked really well for the atmosphere and kind of building up the episode. But then after that, John does speak on the radio, kind of letting us know that this does take place after episode four. Sarah... Sarah's driving the truck, John and June are in the car together in front of Sarah and he's talking to her about the fact that he wants to leave and he wants June to leave with him and they're going to set up and they're going to leave. They're making their way to the oil fields because there's been a massive accident. After that, John says after that we're going to leave, we're going to leave, we're going to say we're going off somewhere and we're just not going to come back. But when they get to the oil fields, one of their, um, I don't know what they call them, but one of the actual whatever to call them anyways, one of them has exploded and there's fire everywhere, oil is literally raining from the skies, everyone has been injured and um, we see June going in there to save as many people as she can but Ginny has come up with some of her rangers to see if what happened was an accident or if someone did this intentionally. I was assuming looking at it that it was a complete accident but we know that someone did set it up because it has the end is the, get, is the beginning spray painted on the wall so we know that whoever is part of that group has done this because we've seen that Morgan fought them at the end of episode 4 I want to say killing two of their members so I'm assuming they have a lot of other members within that group but Ginny obviously knows who they are because she recognizes straight away and she knows that they are a threat. So we know that they are battling someone out there. So not only is she going to be fighting Morgan's group. But she's also going to be fighting this group. And I imagine hopefully Morgan's group will team up with them. And kind of try and take down Ginny within the next the back half. Because episode 7 is our last episode within the first half of the season. But Ginny and the group make their way in there. They realise that a lot of people are injured. They start loading them into the back of the truck. We find out that Wes, or yeah, his name is Wes, who I actually forgot about him as well until at the preview at the start of the episode they showed him. I think it was just to remind people, like, oh yeah, he is a character. So Wes has now got strap. Uh, he got it was a pretty big bit of shrapnel stuck in his chest here, and they find that they're kind. Of, uh, Ginny's there questioning everyone, trying to find out who was the one who spray painted, who spray painted the end is not the beginning around the place. It's then revealed that Wes has spray paint and paint. We know this because we knew that he was a big painter back in season 5. But Ginny doesn't know that. So she just sees all this spray paint. She immediately thinks it's him. And she immediately starts to torture and question him. And I thought that was a great scene. To show how much of a badass villain. But she's not really a badass villain. But how much of a dirty villain she can be. The fact that he's strapped in his side. And she is pushing it inside him. Asking him questions that we know he has nothing to do with. But she doesn't know that. And I just thought that worked really well as building her up as a more menacing villain but they make their way getting Wes into the back of the truck everyone in the back of the truck has died because of course probably someone died biting someone else and then it just kept a ripple effect going down and down and down June immediately 
blames Eugenie for that because the fact that she was torturing Ginny or torturing Wes, which means that June couldn't go in the back of the truck saving anyone, so they all died because of Ginny's actions in torturing Wes. They get Wes in the back of the truck, they start to drive up, boom, a big massive explosion happens, leaving June and Ginny caved on their inside of a building. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was imagining that it was going to be a scenario where they were just going to be talking, arguing with each other. But then we see that light flickering as in like it keeps going black and white and it's quick moving pace this episode the way it was shot in the scene. And a walker comes up fighting Ginny. And I was like, okay, Ginny's probably going to kill him. But no, the walker bites her in the hands and I was absolutely shocked. I did not expect to see this whatsoever. And June, then Ginny, is, she goes to pick up an axe, she's going to chop off her, her hand, June takes the axe and throws it away, and I'm thinking, oh shit, is this where Ginny's going to die? Because I think a couple of episodes ago I said, Ginny's going to have to die, but I was assuming Morgan was going to kill her, I actually thought, is Ginny just going to die from a walker bite? I thought that would be anticlimactic in a way, but it would also be quite unique, the fact that we're seeing someone die from a walker bite, because the last time, to the best of my knowledge, the last time we see someone die from a walker bite was Carl. Back in season 8 of The Walking Dead. So I thought that was. As far as I know it's the last time we've seen someone die of a walker bite. So I thought, I thought that was quite cool to actually see someone die. Especially the big villain die of a walker bite. But June and Ginny are going back and forth. Ginny's begging her for her life saying. What do you what do you want? I'll give you anything. Just let me survive. Just chop off my hand. Get to a point where June. Or Ginny knows. Okay she's not going to do it. Just She starts begging. Don't, don't care about me. Just make sure my sister is okay. And then that clicks in June's head. The fact that she's. She has people she cares about. And then Ginny says, I'll give you anything you want. June chops off her hand. And I just thought that was quite cool. First she burns it, of course. So the axe, she chops off her hand. And now since the axe was hot, it kind of, it burns her hand now. So she's okay. It's been, the uh, wound has been closed. She's not going to lose blood or anything. Ginny will be fine. But now Ginny is promising June a hospital. So June is going to build up a hospital. I don't know how that's going to play out. I don't know how that's going to look. I imagine once Ginny falls, they're going to keep that hospital in place because that's something June 100% wants. But I was just, I was shocked to see Ginny survive this just because I did not expect her to survive. Once I see she got bit, I thought that was the end of it. I did not think June was going to, June was going to chop her hand off. Even though everyone says it, even um, Sarah says it. Uh, what's her name? It's not LT, what's her name? Oh, Luciana. Even they go, why the hell did you save her life? Because everyone knows, no one likes her. They all want her dead. And the fact that June saved her, I imagine that's going to set up so much controversy between everyone. When Morgan finds out, when Dwight finds out, they're all going to be like, why the fuck did you save her? But now June is going to set up a whole new hospital for herself. But uh, John says at the end of the episode, oh, come on, let's just go. And June's really happy. I got a hospital, John. I can't go now. This is perfect. And you can see it in John. He's just, he's heartbroken. He doesn't want to stay there, but he doesn't want to leave June. But then June starts driving off with Sarah. John's driving behind him saying, yeah, I'll follow you home. And then you see a crossroad. Immediately it reminded me of Fast and the Furious 7, where Sarah and uh, June go off one way, and John goes off the other way, going his complete other direction. I imagine Ginny is going to send people out right after them. I don't think she's going to do any, she, she's not going to do anything to June. She's not going to do anything to any of them, just because... June saved her life. She's not going to torture June because John left. She probably will send people after John, but I don't know if she'll get John. I'd love to see John reunite with Morgan, but I don't know how all well that's going to play out. So I actually am excited now for episode 7. Not only is it because it's the mid-season finale, I don't know if it's going to be structured as the mid-season finale or if it's going to be structured as an episode 7. Hopefully they have a planned or they were able to edit or whatever because like, they've been filming for a while now. I hope they were able to edit some stuff they were going to put into the episode 8, into episode 7 to make it feel more like a finale rather than just an ordinary episode. But so far, this if episode 7 kind of finishes this up, this is going to be the best half season Fear the Walking Dead has ever done. And I am praying they don't botch the second half. Because season 4 of Fear the Walking Dead started a bit brilliant second half shit. Season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead started a bit brilliant second half shit. Please do not botch this. Season 6 has been absolutely fantastic so far. Please do not botch the second half. But I am loving Fear the Walking Dead. I am so excited every week for Fear the Walking Dead. I haven't been able to say that in oh, God knows how long. Even Fear the, Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. I didn't really care. I was enjoying it. But I was never really excited. Season 4 of the first half was probably the last time I was able to say I was really excited for every episode of Fear the Walking Dead as it was coming out. And you've got me feeling that again. It's the same show owners. I don't know how they've done it. But it's just. The writing is absolutely fantastic. All the actors. The storyline. Everything is just so intriguing. And I'm so excited for episode 7 now tonight. 
Ginny. I don't know how. I hope she plays. I hope she's in the episode. I hope we actually physically get to see her hand now. How it's all going to play out. I don't even know who we're following in this episode. But I am beyond excited to see what's going to happen in tonight's episode. Which is our mid-season finale. But let me know your thoughts on episode 6 of Fear the Walking Dead in the comment section down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think what June did was a stupid thing in saving Ginny? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Click that subscribe button as well if you want to hear my thoughts on episode 7 of Fear the Walking Dead. As well as episode 7 of The Walking Dead World Beyond. And as always, thanks for watching.